either the word of God penetrating your heart and it, as an anchor pulling you back, pulling you back, pulling you back. I don't have to get in this every day because I want to check it off. I have to get in this every day because by his word I live and breathe and have my being. His word, the word of God is living and powerful, sharper than any double-edged sword. It'll divide me. It'll pierce me. It'll bring me to repentance. It'll have me be a better husband to my wife, a better father to my kids. This will restrain evil. This will keep anger at bay, but the other junk just pulls you astray. So we wonder, why isn't my life working? It's not working because the flesh leads by default. And it's a battle. Shane, I, you're saying I have to be disciplined and regimented? Absolutely. We talked about that last week. Paul says, I discipline my body, which is to bring it back, black and blue. He beats up his body. No, I bring you under subjection. You will listen to me. I discipline my body so when I preach to others, I myself should not become disqualified. So Paul's saying, if I don't even discipline myself, I'm not qualified for service. Why am I, why am I not qualified for service? Because I'm a hypocrite who's being led by the flesh. There's nothing worse than a pastor preaching something that he does not live. That's my greatest fear. Because when I start to preach something, I do not live. The Spirit of God is quenched and grieved. And everyone in this room will know it. It'll be like bricks are falling out of my mouth. Because I stand up here as a hypocrite. You don't, I don't do anything, everything perfectly. I'm a work in progress just like everybody else. Please don't get me wrong. But as Christians, we are in a warfare. The Bible says life is a battleground, not a playground. See, I have to shoot you straight. Spiritual weapons for the weapons of your warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds and casting down every argument, every high thing that exalts itself against Christ. Doing what? Bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. I'm called to bring my thought life captive. My thought life's going out here. No, you're not. You're coming back here to Christ. My thought life is going out here. No, it's not. It's coming back to Christ. I have to bring my thought life back to captivity. Why? Because I control it. It doesn't control me. But when the flesh leads by default, it controls you. It pulls you. You're not bringing your thought captive. You're allowing it to captivate you.